All right, we had this cold front come through and it's been pretty cold for the last week. So I figured I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple cold start attempts on these little Kubota diesels and these Cub Cadets. Uh, and we'll, we'll see if they'll fire. I came out here earlier in the morning, it was 20 degrees back in here and now it's showing 24. So I'm gonna go with a 24 degree, but it, the engine still could be a little cooler than that. Now the first one I'm gonna attempt is the Cub Cadet 1772 uh, Kubota D640, 17 horsepower. Now this engine has the upgraded gear reduction starter in it, and it's got brand new glow plugs that were put in last year. So um, that should help with starting it, but I, I still honestly doubt it's gonna fire. These little engines are extremely cold blooded. Uh, 420 regular cranking amp, 350 cold uh, battery in this. That's about the, the biggest one you can get for this group size of this tractor. That was another main reason that they, they had issues with these starting is you just can't get a big enough battery for them. It always seems to me like by the time you cycle the glow plugs enough to get them nice and warm, uh, it just don't have enough to crank it. So this is going to be the first one we'll attempt and we'll see if we can get this one running. Uh, all right, the other one, a 782D uh, Cub Cadet. This one has a D600 Kubota diesel in it, um, 15 horsepower. Uh, this has a gear. Uh, this does not have the gear reduction starter. This has the original starter that, that came with this tractor, but I did install new glow plugs on this one last year. Uh, for a fair comparison, um, I just got this battery. I had it in the trickle charger like the other one, so they're both fully charged. Uh, same thing, 420, 350 coal cranking amp battery in this. So we're going to attempt to fire both Cub Cadets, you know, fresh full batteries. And if anything, like I said, we'll see if they'll fire. I really doubt there's going to be any success to this, but it'll be a fun, fun attempt to see uh, if they will.
like I said, I didn't, I didn't think they were going to fire. Um, at, at the end there, I thought I was wrong because when I threw the jumper cables on this, once it, you know, started smoking more, I figured the cylinders would get warmed up enough from cranking that it was going to go, but I don't really want to tear anything up um, trying to start it if it's not, especially because I don't have to use it. I just wanted to see if it would. Um, one upgrade you can do to these, and I'm, I'm going to do it to, to this one. I might do it to the 782 as well, but you can do a glow plug relay and you wire it up to where the glow plugs will get a full 12 volt. As it's set up now, I believe they're only getting nine volt. So that's a pretty good upgrade you can do to these little diesels. And I'll throw a video on there if I do it, which this summer, if I get around to it, and then next winter, we'll, we'll try to see if it, if it helps any. But from what I've read it, it makes a pretty big difference. Um, the gear reduction starter, that's just seeing that one compared to the 782. I didn't even try to put the battery charger on the 782 and try it anymore just because I knew there was no point. Um, if this one was turning as fast as it was with the starter and it wouldn't fire, I knew there was no way that the 782 was as slow as it was cranking. It wasn't even worth my, my effort and time. So that proves right there that if you have one of these, the gear reduction starter on these is a pretty good upgrade and improvement to do as well. So uh, if we get a 40 degree day here, it um, starts to warm up, maybe I'll do another one. We'll see, we'll see how these do in 40 degree and, and see if I can get them to fire then. But uh, anyways, it was fun just to see if they would. Um, as always, thanks for watching.